Hi, I'm Rory from eSpares, and in this video, I'm going to show you the most common causes for a leaky fridge and what you can do about it. There's four most common causes. They are door seals, a door that won't close, evaporation trays, and any ice maker tubing. Now, the first thing you'll need to check is your door seals. Are they dirty? If they are, give them a clean because if there's food and detritus built up on the door seal, it won't form an effective seal with the fridge and so condensation can leak. Now, uh, if your seal is really old or really damaged, you can just get a new one. Door seals are available for all make and model of fridge and they're really easy to replace. Uh, to remove your old door seal, you will need to pull it away for most models. However, some models you may need to use a knife just to cut the old seal away. However, fitting the new seal is really easy. You just need to push it into place in the fridge. There's little ridges and it's really easy to do. It will take you less than 10 minutes. Just make sure you have the right seal for your make and model of fridge. You can find your model number on the inside of the fridge just behind the vegetable crisper there. The next thing is a door that just won't stay closed even though the seal is in good condition. This is especially common in fridges that have a large and heavy lower door like this one and it's caused by a fridge that's leaning too far forward. So what we need to do is tilt it back to make it level. That's done by adjusting the feet. You'll need to tilt your fridge back, lean it on something, or maybe wedge some wood under there, or better yet, get a friend to hold it for you. And then you can just adjust the feet. Most will be threaded like this one. Some you might need a screwdriver or wrench. The next thing you need to do is to make sure that your fridge is draining and evaporating water correctly. Each time you open and close your fridge door, moisture builds up inside. It condenses on the back wall and should drain away through a plug hole just like this one. You need to make sure this is unblocked. Some fridges come with an unblocker just like this one which you can use just to make sure it's all clear. You'll also on some models be able to check the tubing at the back of the fridge. If anything is blocked you'll notice uh, water or ice build up at the bottom here which will eventually spill out onto the floor. When it comes to freezers, if you have a manual defrost freezer like this one, you'll just need to uh, defrost it about once every six months or so, or if there's excessive ice build up in there, because it, basically if there's too much ice in there, uh, you won't be able to close the door properly and that'll mean a leak. If you've got an auto defrost freezer, uh, an element will come on inside about once every six hours or so, and it will just melt away any ice build up, and this will then go down a drain hole. Uh, you may be able to get access to that drain hole, you may not, it will depend on the model of your freezer, but um, if you can get access, just make sure that it's not blocked with food or ice. The water ends up down here at the bottom of the fridge in the evaporation tray. The tray sits on top of the warm compressor and the warmth then evaporates the water away. Check your tray for any signs of damage, any cracks or leaks. Also, check any visible hosing. Like on this model, it could be that your hose, rather than dripping into the tray, is actually dripping onto the floor. Anything that's out of place or broken, just replace. Now this fridge freezer doesn't have an ice maker or a water dispenser, but if yours does, the last thing you'll need to check is the hosing that connects it all up. There'll usually be three hoses. There'll be one inlet hose, which runs from your mains water supply into the top of your fridge. There should also be two drain hoses, one which runs from the bottom of the water dispenser to the bottom of the door, and one that's connected to that, which runs from the bottom of the door into the evaporation tray. Check all these hoses for signs of damage, any cracks, any leaks. Also check all the connections just to make sure they're nice and tight and no water is leaking from them. Once you've done that, hopefully your fridge will be leak free. All the spare parts you've seen in this video, as well as spare parts for all make and model of fridge freezer, are available at the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.